everyone. This is Elisa coming from St. Augustine, Florida. I am housebound today with this hurricane fast approaching us. So I thought I might just use some of my home time today sharing some of my tips and things I do to make my air frying easier. So if you see here, I'm going to show you some of the accessories I have. This all came together. This, this piece and this wire wrap, this pizza pan, and this cake pan with a handle. This was the cake pan that I used when I made the chocolate cake you may have seen me post a while back. It worked out great. Um, this pizza pan I used, I've used it several times, but I used it to try some cookies the other day. That um, That's for another conversation. I've got to work on the cookie process. They didn't turn out too well. This is um, what they call the toasting rack. You can put bread in here. I've seen people online using it to put bacon on, to cook their bacon, although I found just putting mine straight in the basket worked great. This is just a little rack that you can use for added space or if for some reason you wanted something elevated. I will tell you, um, with the air fryer, elevating things is actually a pretty good idea because it works with air movement. So the more space you get between the food and the moving air, the better it will cook. So I've yet to use this, but um, we're not big beef eaters in our house outside of ground beef recipes, but I think I'm gonna get some good fillets just for fun and try cooking them in the air fryer, and I'll probably get two small fillets and put them on this. Just see, see how it happens, how it works out. So we'll give that a shot. These, oh, I, let me just explain with these. I got all of these, these four items here, plus if you see down here, I have these little charts. They're fantastic. They give time and temperatures for various types of food. They're great. I like to keep them handy. I like to keep everything as handy as possible. You saw I had a little notepad and a piece of paper down here that I was moving. That's something else I always keep handy. Um, but those items plus these little lobster claw, get my hand in there, little lobster claw finger savers which they definitely need something to, like for that or just reaching in sometimes you have to do something where your fingers are getting a little close to the heat which is not fun speaking of heat let me show you i'm sure some of you have similar war wounds or badges of honor there's an air fryer burn mark there's a couple there there's one on the top of my hand there burned a finger last night, don't know if you can tell, but um, <laughs> it's it's um, really hot in there, folks, so please be careful, it's easy to burn yourself. Um, so all of those items that I just showed you came together, I think they were around $24, got them on Amazon, great to have, I uh, highly recommend getting those or something similar to that. Something else I got on Amazon are these cute little silicone cupcake cookers, holders. If you saw my cupcake post, you know it didn't go perfectly well, they were delicious but they were very misshapen these things are super light so they tend to want to move around in the air fryer with the movement of the air and then the box batter was super light and a friend of mine Lisa Bayer um, questioned she wondered if I did homemade batter if it would be more weight it is more dense so I think next time I'm gonna do a homemade batter and I, I was also thinking I might put them in this cake pan you can see you can fit those in there and that would help hold it so I'm gonna try them again at some point got those on Amazon for about I don't remember how much a few bucks I got these little egg cups which I was so excited about on Amazon I'd looked everywhere for them finally bought them off of Amazon um, tried I experimented experimented the other day just by putting one egg and throwing it in the air fryer without doing any research disaster the egg went everywhere it was a mess so um, I'll work on that and get back to you on those. These, if you watch, follow any of my posts, you see me use these a lot. The wonton post I did um, this morning from last night's dinner, I use this. I do always spray these with um, my olive oil or coconut oil or something before I use them so the dough doesn't stick. If you see any of my little pies or my empanadas, this medium size is what I use. The shells I buy fit perfectly in those. This larger one, I've yet to use. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna try soon to do um, like a little um, pot pie, a chicken pot pie of some sort. And I thought I would have my own dough for that so I could make it the size I want and then just make a pot pie in the shape of a handheld. 
I got these on Amazon also. I want to say they were $6.99. They're great. I couldn't live without them. I use them all the time. I could live without them, but I prefer not to. Another one of my favorite products is this. I don't know if any of y'all have these or if you've seen these. It's parchment paper, but if you notice, it has all these little holes in it. The holes are so important because your air fryer basket has holes in it. Sorry, I just cooked something. I hadn't cleaned it yet. Um, and the heat really needs to get all around your food for it to cook properly. You can use parchment paper, just regular parchment paper, which I have done, but it just doesn't cook as well as these with holes because you're not allowing that air to get through. I do use parchment paper a lot for food preps, however. Um, another thing I wanted to show you is everyone's kitchen's different, I realize, but I want everything as close to me as possible. So there's my air fryer. These I actually keep in a cabinet behind me, all, all these things, just because it's, I don't have any other space. But in my pantry, my pantry is uh, luckily just right by where I work from. So here's what I've done. I've put all my oils, easy to grab, my little lobster claw, finger savers are there, my sugars are there, and then all my meals, and then this, coconut oil. If you don't have coconut oil, I strongly suggest you get it. I rub coconut oil on my basket every single time before I use it. Not only does it help keep the food from sticking, it also helps protect your basket. These guys have Teflon coating. And I have read more people complaining about their Teflon, Teflon starting to um, peel off. And I actually have seen a little spot, which I'll show you. And I mean, I, I mean more, I am ridiculously careful with things. If you can see on the bottom right there, I noticed it rubbing right there. So, I mean, it happens even no matter how careful you are. You can buy replacement baskets, which I probably will have to at some point. But do everything you can to protect it. These, they take a lot of heat and a lot of abuse. I never use anything but a soft sponge to clean it with, and then I just squirt it with Dawn and um, just rub it. I soak in hot water. I've never, ever, ever used anything rough, and I will not ever use anything rough on them. My new air fryer, which here's the spot just waiting for its delivery excitedly, um, it is not Teflon coated. I'm so excited. It's all stainless steel. It has mesh baskets and um, all kinds of things. Uh, rotisserie pieces some of y'all may already have one that style but um it I won't have to be quite as concerned about damaging it as I will this one so it's going to be interesting when I get my second one to see how I use them differently another tip is and this is something I did a lot of research on is the and there's lots of questions the heat aspect these things put out a lot of heat so what I do is I had this cutting board already and I bought this little silicone mat that I placed on it. It's a heat resistant silicone mat because you don't want anything getting too hot. Put it under here. And the reason I have my cutting board is you're supposed to keep your air fryer about five inches from any surface. So if you look, I, I keep it put up like right against this edge, but I can easily pull it out because it's on this board and kind of get it in wherever I want, away from lamps behind it or whatever. I can get it in the position I want while using it. And it, if I just had that mat directly on the granite, I think it'd be really hard to move because this would tend to want to kind of adhere, I think, and stick. Did the same thing in the spot for my new air fryer. It's a 12 by 12 base. This is 11 and a half by 11 and a half mat I just bought. I already had this piece of wood from a serving piece that I'll just borrow it from a serving piece back when I need to. But again, I'll want to, you know, I just want to be able to do that when, um, when I'm using it. And it does have a door that opens. It'll probably, when the door's open, I can pull it about that far with the door, but I probably have to slide it back a little to open the door. So it's gonna be really important that I can move it easily. Um, uh, one more last tip. I am um, a true Florida girl, born here and came back here 12 years ago, which means I don't like to wear shoes. I'm barefoot all the time. So I get no support. Cooking in an air fryer is so much different than oven cooking. With an oven, you can put something in it, leave the kitchen for a while if you need to, take a little break if you need to, sit down. Air frying, we're constantly you know, doing this, doing that. I cook so differently now. I'm always messing with something on these counters, so I can go hours without sitting down, which means my back hurts. So I'll show you my barefoot. Yep, there I am barefooted. Um, so I think I need to get, and I need to get it soon, 
um, a nice thick rubber mat so I have a little more support under me. So if you're gonna spend as much time in the kitchen as many of us people that have a passion for cooking do, uh, if you don't already, you might wanna think about investing into some nice thick mat to support your, your back a little bit. So I think I've rambled on enough with all of that. I uh, hope something I said might be helpful or useful to someone out there. And um, we're expecting the hurricane to hit us about 4 a.m. in tomorrow morning. So any of you along the coast below or above us in St. Augustine, just uh, my best prayers and thoughts go out to you. Please stay, stay, stay st I can't talk, stay safe. And um, pay attention to all the warnings. It's easy to get lackadaisical. I know I'm getting frustrated with this slow moving one and uh, you know in your heart you've got to take it seriously but it's just feeling like it's never going to get here. So anyway, uh, my prayers and blessings to all of you regardless of what's going on in your lives today and happy air frying.